All right, so obviously a huge match here on day nine. 26-year-old Sekewake Kotonowaka taking on Ozeki Hoshoru, who I believe is a year or two younger than him. 189 centimeters and uh, obviously 6-2 and two record. And unfortunately for him, two back-to-back -back losses. You don't want that. So can he turn things around uh, against... Uh, a very good opponent here, the Ozeki, who's also having a very good tournament. 6-2 and two record for Hoshoru as well. This will knock one of them off the uh, leaderboard down into the three-loss group. Uh, because our sole leader is Ichi Yamamoto with only one loss. He already got his Kachikoshi today. Congratulations to him. Uh... What was I going to tell you? Oh, all the links will be down in the description box. I'm assuming that, you know, you, you watch day eight coverage somewhere because obviously I had no, you know, kind of match coverage on day eight. I was out there at the arena enjoying, it was a great day, had a really fun time, had a nice meetup with some sumo fans, Karen and Phil and Melissa and Brad and Jamie, Brian, my buddy, and me all went out to dinner afterwards, had a nice uh, chat and some good food, so it was a really great weekend. There is Hoshoru, of course. He's also 6-2. and two. Didn't have back-to-back -back losses, but his losses are recent, and they both lost yesterday, so I know they're both looking to bounce back from that loss yesterday, so only one of them will obviously be able to do that and get the win here. Here's the fat flashy graphic. So, big match here as far as you show and leaderboard, etc. Let's give you an update on who else won and lost today. Uh, Surugisho went 4-5 and five on that bad knee, but he's still getting some wins. Uh, he beat Kitanawaka. Takata Fuji beat Tohakuru. As I mentioned before, Ichi Yamamoto now 8-1. and one. He beat Tamawashi, who's 6-3. and three. Uh, Oho beat Tomokaze. Boo, Tomokaze's on my team. <laughs> Hirata Umi is having a great tournament. Uh, he's now 6-3. and three. He beat Roga today. Chirana Umi, the man making his debut at Maigashira 15, 7-2 and two record. And he beat Endo, who's opposite, 2-7 and seven record. Kim Bozan beat Sadano Umi. Hokuseho got a fourth win by beating Kotoeko. Takanosho beat Ryuden. Takanosho's 4-5. and five. Shonana Umi went to 6-3 and three by beating Miyogiru. Mitake Yumi, uh, the former Ozeki, 5-4 and four now. He beat Midori Fuji, who's 6-3. and three. Atami Fuji is on my team, and yay, he got a win. He is now 7-2, and two and, and being it's just so impressive, his winning records of the past year. Maigashira, 8, doing great. Takeyasu got a win over Tobizaru. He's now 6-3. and three. Meisei went, just got his second win of the tournament. He's now 2-7. and seven. Beat Gonoyama, boo, because Gonoyama's on my team. <laughs> uh, Shodai beat Hokuto Fuji, the Komasubi, struggling. He's only at 2-7. and seven. Ura beat Abi. I've got to go see that match. That must have been fun. Both of those guys are now 3-6. and six. Wakamoto Haru got a win to go to 4-5. and five. He beat the other Sekewake Daisho, who's 5-4. and four. And then we had the three Ozeki matches, which are on the channel. All right, I think they're going to throw salt one more time. Uh, tomorrow should be the same. Uh, try to get out his work as quickly as I can at 5 o'clock, get home, have at least the last three matches, possibly a fourth if, if traffic allows. And Wednesday should be the same. And then big, mighty coverage on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I know for a lot of you in America that watch the channel, you're heading into the Thanksgiving weekend, so happy Thanksgiving. I'm so jealous. I, I really do miss eating some nice turkey and stuffing and roast potatoes and all the good stuff. Um, so eat some for me, please. <laughs> um, don't really have that availability here. Um, you can special order turkey. There's some you know companies that cater to the foreign uh, resident market and import turkeys and stuff, but it's just not a common meat you find here in Japan supermarkets. Um, in fact, I would say it's almost non-existent. <laughs> okay. Who, who do you got? Kotonowaka or Hoshoru? Hoshoru's on my team. So I want Kotonowaka to do well. I think he's a bright up-and-comer. But 
I got to ask for Ho Shoulder to win this one. Help my team. Go Ho Shoulder. Here we go. Nice match between these two, and uh, I think this is going to be a good rivalry going ahead in the coming years. And uh, this one went the way of Colton Walk. I don't know what their head to head is. If somebody wants to leave it down in the comments, that'd be helpful. Uh, but yeah, good match from Colton Walker. And you know, somebody pointed out, and it is true, um, he got 11 wins at Komosubi in July, nine wins at Sekewake in September. That's 20. So if he finishes this tournament at 13 and two, he'd, he'd have to win every match from now until day 15. But if he could do that, he'd get promoted to Ozeki in uh, January, Colton Owaka. So, but, uh, you know, if he's going to go 13-2, and two, that would probably mean winning the U show. But, you know, that would be a sensational way to get promoted to Ozeki. So that tiny window is open for him, but only if he goes undefeated the rest of the way. I don't think 32 wins uh, would do it unless he won the U show with a 12-3. and three And they were like, okay, let's make him an Ozeki. We have we have enough Ozeki really. What we need is a new Yofazuna, right? Uh, and bow twirling, yay! Uh, of course, Brian and I stayed to the end of the bow twirling yesterday. As some rude people get up and leave, but don't do that if you go see Sumo. Stay for the bow twirling. I also met uh, Amy from Sumo Mainichi, uh, which is a Twitter slash podcast uh, site I follow. She came over and said hello, so that was another person I got to meet. And, uh, yeah, it was really a great day, wonderful weather, and uh, I really enjoyed being there, hearing the crowd roar, some of the local people, uh, like the Shodai footage I put up with all their, their daikon, their big radishes and whatever, they're waving them in the air and stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. If you get the chance to come to, uh, to Japan in November, I highly recommend a trip down to Fukuoka. It's a wonderful city and... And, uh, you know, the weather's usually wonderful. And uh, you get to see some fun sumo to finish off 2023 or finish off the year. I bought so much in prizes, guys. I, I went a little overboard. Um, I got calendars. I got towels. I got fans. I got, uh, you know, you'll see in the wrap-up video. So if you do well in the contest this time or in January, I think you'll, you'll have something spiffy from the sumo swag bag to pick from. Uh, and thanks again to everybody that's joined the membership, sends a little bit of money to the tip jar, all you people that support me monthly on PayPal. Uh, you know, you're the guys who make that trip possible, make make it make me able to buy all the prizes to give away, etc., and go to the post office and spend the money to mail them and all that stuff. So that's all paying it forward from you guys uh, coming by and donating and joining the membership supporting the channel so thank you so much arigato gozaimasu and that's it for me today day nine i'll see you again on tomorrow on the 21st for day 10 and we'll watch some more sumo together okay take care guys see you tomorrow